Peace. Want to talk about two different uh, liquids that I use in some of my products, uh, extracts. Um, the tinctures, uh, tonics, and whatnot. Okay, so one of them is uh, this one called um, VG or uh, vegetable glycerin. Now, vegetable glycerin is, I'm going to read this off the, off the internet, uh, but it's exactly what this is. Vegetable glycerin is the variant made, well, let me back up. Glycerin is a sugar alcohol derived from animal products, plants, or petroleum. Vegetable glycerin is the variant made from plant oils. It is said to have been accidentally discovered, yada, 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 I don't care about that, but it only became economically and industrially significant in the 1800s, nobody cares about that. Vegetable glycerin is made by heating triglyceride-rich vegetable fats, such as palm, soy, and coconut oils. Under pressure or together with a strong alkali such as lye. The causes this causes the glycerin to split away from the fatty acids and mix together with water, forming an odorless, sweet tasting syrup like liquid. So <clears throat> let's say when you give your your child a um cough syrup. This is what the cough syrup is made from because it is um, without alcohol in it. Adult, uh, adult um, cold, cold syrups and whatnot usually has uh, some pharmaceutical or alcohol in it. But <clears throat> this is the, um, the component used in uh, most uh, child uh, medicines but um, it has more range than just that so what I use this for is to make uh, potions such as let's say you have a particular herb that you need in your body for whatever reason let's say it might be um, sea moss, or um, it might be kelp, or it might be spirulina, or whatever it is. Um, but you want to be able to take it in liquid form. And the reason why you want to do that is because this um, glyc uh, vegetable glycerin uh, will go to your uh, go to the organs different um, in a different it'll take a different path than if you was to take just the herb itself with the herb you will have to let it go through your digestive tract uh, you will lose some of the some of the constituents uh, in the particular herb um, so uh, and you know basically you'll shit it back out and so you won't get everything that's in the capsule you'll get a lot of what's in the capsule but you won't get everything that's in the capsule now in most of my capsules I have three to four different herbs so when you use the vegetable glycerin the vegetable glycerin will bypass the digestive tract and go straight to the organ and the organ in particular that it will go to directly is the liver the liver is one of the most vital organ in your body. It is where um, bile, shit, toxins, poisons, uh, everything that can kill you is in the liver. And if your liver is not functioning correctly, it cannot pass that mess through. If it doesn't pass it through, then you start showing symptoms in your face, you start showing symptoms in your eyes, you start becoming uh, lethargic and exhausted and fatigued and losing your memory. All kind of crap happens. 
So this uh, vegetable glycerin, um, what it does is it goes straight to your, it takes the herbs and it goes straight to your liver and it literally takes that and makes it evacuate. And by evacuate, I mean you're gonna go to the bathroom. You're not gonna have diarrhea. It's basically going to, it's like turn, if your liver isn't working, let's say the dial isn't going all the way to 10 like it's supposed to, this vegetable glycerin will turn that dial so that your liver can work for you. And if your liver is working, then everything else starts to work like it's supposed to work. But once that liver slows down and stops working, you pretty much fucked. So vegetable glycerin is one of the best methods to get um, your organs, not just the liver, but your kidney, your, your, your spleen. It helps with your skin. Um, it helps with all of your organs. But we, our Shabazz uses it for, um, for the purpose of the liver. Um, so if you take any of my tonics or you take any of my extracts uh, that's not alcohol based because I have a lot of vegan clients and they don't want to have alcohol. Um, yeah, they, they don't want to have alcohol in their products. So, um, I use a uh, kosher, uh, you see the 99.7%. You're not gonna get any higher than that. Um, everything that I use is um, is above board. I don't put any chemicals. I don't put any additives or anything in my products other than what is supposed to go in there because it's gonna go to your organs. And I'm not in the business of hurting anybody or causing anybody any further damage than what they already have. So this is what I use the glycerin for. The next champion up is MCT. MCT is a uh, acronym for um, medium chain triglycerides. The medium chain triglyceride is a fatty oil and what this oil does is it also bypasses your um, your digestive tract and it goes directly to your liver. Now take, um, uh, anytime you see triglyceride, it's gonna be a fatty oil, uh, or it's gonna be a fatty thing. And um, for the most part, we don't really want triglycerides. Um, uh, we don't want fatty oils in our bodies because of um, uh, it will raise our triglyceride levels. So when it comes to MCT though, the MCT, we do want it in our bodies and we want it to go to our liver and we want it to open the windows and the doors and air out everything. So the MCT oil um, will help do a few things. One of the thing, okay. One of the things that it will do is uh, it's going to make you lose weight. All right. This is a weight loss um, um, component that I use. Um, you can have it by itself, or you can. Um, uh, I, what I do is I mix it with a flav with a flavoring uh, with a syrup. Uh, flavored syrup that is um, natural uh, for the most part it's natural um, it's as natural as I can can get or find um, I take that I take the herbs that I'm going to use for whatever purpose I'm going to use it for uh, I mix those up with uh, the MCT the herb um, the syrup and sometimes uh, I will also use the um, the vegetable glycerin of the VG and this particular oil will send you to the bathroom all right you're going to um, be eliminating all of the things that are in your liver that's um, keeping you from 
um, um, defecating. Now, the thing about the uh, MCT is um, uh, one, it's not bad for you, it's actually great for you. Um, I had something else in my mind, so I lost my train of thought. But MCT with uh, vegetable glycerin, you can't go wrong. So when uh, when I mix a, um, a when I mix a blend for you, I'm going to be using either MCT oil. I'm going to be using vegetable glycerin, and sometimes it becomes necessary for me to use uh, a stronger carrier, uh, which is what MCT and uh, vegetable glycerin is, they're carriers for the, for the thing that's really going to help your organs, which is the herb. Uh, sometimes for those who really, really, really need some uh, a, a punch, I'm gonna go ahead and use 190 grain um, alcohol, and I won't use the uh, the, the the vegetable glycerin. So um, anyway, I just kind of wanted to hit you guys to some of the um, liquid products that I use when I make my tinctures and so on and so forth. All right, peace.